All right, so second drive on version 12.6. Right now we are on 76, driving over to Jersey. And last time that I did my first drive on 12.6, I was praising the full self-driving on the highway. And so I'm here on 76, and I have to make my way over to 676, and I've got to say right off the bat, it did a great job at weaving me in there right in between traffic. Up here, I've got to make kind of a left exit to stay on to 676. I wanted to start off in the right-hand lane to see the car make that move, and here it goes again. So right off the bat, 12.6.1, the version that I'm on, when I did my first drive, getting onto the highway was seamless, and it was great. And here right now, right off the bat, it pulled two really impressive moves. This is a super congested highway with so many cars on the road. So the fact that it was able to get from the right hand lane over to the left hand lane so swiftly and now continue me on my drive is great. And even right now with that car just moving over to the side and it's starting to speed up, that was really awesome. So highway driving on 12.6 is so good. <laughs> like I've had some complaints in the past. I've made my videos where I've talked about you know, some issues that I've had with full self-driving while on uh, while on the highway, and so far, this is doing great. Now, from here, we're going to have to drive straight on 676. We're going to kind of weave our way onto 95, and that's going to be another interesting interchange there. Now, this is a little bit of a hard break, but that's because a lot of these people in front of me are slamming on the brakes, and it looks like there's a pretty bad accident over on the other side. So, yeah, I mean, in terms of highway driving, everything just feels more comfortable on the version that I'm on right now, 12.6, moving up from 12.5. Uh, of course, I am still running hardware three here on my car. And so, you know, this is probably going to be what a lot of other people are running as well. Hardware three seems to be what is the most plentiful. Uh, there go the wipers. In my previous video, I was talking about how the wipers were doing really good. The auto wipers, uh, when it was snowing, were actually doing great and were wiping whenever I needed them and they weren't wiping too excessively. But there, the wipers just started kind of going with no precipitation. I will give it a pass because my car is filthy dirty and one of the cameras could be dirty and it's telling the car that the windshield wipers need to go on. But regardless, the windshield wipers... Uh, the auto wipers usually get turned off in my car when I go on full self-driving. Um, so this is like a super comfortable drive. The car is keeping a really good speed here so that, you know, none of these people can just cut me off and cut in front of me. But also in terms of the car distance and the car length, it's a nice smooth brake. Um, you know, on previous versions of full self-driving, man, sometimes when you're in this stop and go traffic, it would slam on the brakes and make it so uncomfortable. But this is nice. So right now I'm on hurry. So there's the three different profiles, chill, standard, and hurry. I guess assertive has now been changed to hurry, which I don't know. I mean, it just, I guess, is a different UI term there. Um, and we are also, we do have our maximum speed set to 85. Uh, the reason that I set to 85 is just so that I can always maintain, uh, you know, kind of a, a following distance to the car in front of me. As we get on to 95 up here, the speed limit is going to be 55, but people are going to drive 105 because uh, that's just, that's 95 for you. That's an interstate that is, you know, Philadelphia, the people in Pennsylvania usually drive pretty fast. Uh, I mention that all the time in my videos because I feel like full self-driving can drive a little bit slow. And then when you go to actually drive, you know, the normal speed limit, the car is usually doing slower and people are riding your ass. They're slamming on their horn. Uh, so here we can just stay in this lane. This is going to keep us right on to 95 North. This can be a little bit tough. I'd actually be interested to see how the car would do if we needed to go to 95 South. Now, I wish it wouldn't keep this much of a uh, distance in between me and the car in front of me. This is like, I would say, you know, five or six car lengths. And in this scenario, people are just going to cut in front of me. Like, that's just how it's going to happen. So this distance is definitely way too much to leave. And look, I mean, I can totally understand why. Uh, again, I am set to hurry. There's really no way that I can change the car length here on full self-driving. Uh, and in this case, I'm just kind of lucky that nobody was an asshole and just cut in front of me. So now we're going to make our merge on to 95 North. And with hurry set, we should be able to merge onto the highway. This guy wants to get in front of me. What's the car going to do? The car is not going to let him. <laughs> is it going to let this person? 
Well, we got to merge. Wow, that was a quick merge. I mean, it immediately merged onto the highway. That was an awesome move. It's going to continue to take us over. I've got it set to 85, and I'm on hurry. So the car should eventually try to get over into the left lane and just hammer all the way up. We are stuck at about 65 right now, 66. It's slowly climbing. I would like to see a little bit more of a, uh, a more aggressive acceleration to get me up to a faster speed. I'm not sure if some of the cameras are dirty and it's taking precautions. I'm not sure if it's because I'm in the middle lane. Um, but, you know, in this scenario, I probably would have sped up and been on my way to my maximum speed at this moment. Now, we've gotten a good amount of snow. See, now we're doing 62 in the left lane. The car's not going fast, and we're going to have some cars passing us here on the right side. So this is one of the issues that I was talking about when it comes to the actual speed of the car. Like, I have my maximum speed set to 85. It's only doing 64, and I'm kind of stuck here in the left lane. I really wish the car would have a little bit better awareness and understand that there are cars ahead of me that are so far away that could have stayed in the middle lane before it had to make a left-hand turn. Like, I've got a white Dodge Durango coming up behind me that I know is going to immediately pass me. Yep, he's in the right lane. And now he is going to storm by me. Now we're doing 69, so we've picked up the speed just a little bit. But, and now, yeah, see, we're getting into the right lane. Okay, so now I wonder if we're getting into the right-hand lane because the car has this awareness that somebody passed me and was like, okay, someone passed the car, someone passed me, so we should get into the middle lane. Or if it's because I have to exit here in 1.3 miles. So highway merging, I would say, has gotten so good, but the speed uh, and just the general awareness could definitely still use some work. Now, this exit coming up is just riddled with potholes. Honestly, the entire state of Pennsylvania is probably riddled with potholes right now because of the amount of snow that we have been getting. The roads are never good to begin with, but once the plows start to come, they just tear the roads up. So it'll be interesting to see <laughs> how the car handles because uh, usually I'm, I'm one to take over if I'm heading for a big pothole, take over from the car. Uh, for me, like just with the performance tires, I still have my 21 inches with all season tires on here and man, they can just completely get ruined from the snow, uh, and from the potholes. The potholes are not forgiving with these rims. They will dent them. They will chip them. Uh, so I'm usually super vigilant when I'm driving just to make sure that, I do not hit any big potholes. Now that was a pretty good merge over, uh, pretty pretty seamless. It did slow down knowing that this person would get in front of me. I'm just not really liking this huge gap that it's keeping between me and the car in front of me. I feel like it's almost unnecessary to leave this much room. Um, I don't know, it, it's really hard to tell. Uh, you know, if I was driving, I'd probably be half this distance close to the car in front of us. We're only doing 47 miles an hour right now. We're on an exit. Um, in fact, if I was the car, I'd probably just get into the left lane. I still have my maximum speed set. Okay, there we go. Maybe, maybe I woke it up by sliding the wheel. <laughs> so this is a road now where both of these, well, that's actually a nice pass. So it passed and then got right back over. That's something that I haven't seen full self-driving do. Usually when I'm in the assertive or now the hurry mode, it will get over into the left lane, pass, and just stay in that lane forever. But getting back over is nice. And in this scenario, we didn't actually have to get back over. Um, this road here actually has both lanes going off to the direction that I need to go. So this was pretty good. Uh, we'll probably drive for another about five minutes. We're going to cross the bridge here into Jersey. Uh, once we get over into New Jersey, we're probably going to get off on one of the highways. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll go the whole drive. We've got about 19 minutes left, though, and that's a lot of time to just keep sitting here talking. But the car has done a good job. I mean, jumping over here, you know, merging over into the middle lane, now through, throws its turn signal on immediately and jumps over into the next lane. This is all very natural driving on the highway, um, you know, in terms of merging and in terms of moving around. This definitely is super impressive. I, I thought that in the previous drive where I had the car uh, doing some driving on the highway and then kind of some driving on back roads, I kind of thought it was just a fluke. Uh, I kind of thought that, you know, it was one time where the car had a really good maneuver on the highway and then that would be it. But this seems to be the norm. The merging is supernatural, very nice. 
After I drive, uh, you'll maybe see on the map here that I've got a ton of these different houses and locations that I'm heading to for work. After that, I've got to drive down the shore. So I've got to drive down to uh, the Jersey Shore. And I'm excited to use full self driving on that entire highway drive down. Probably will make a video on that one as well. The Atlantic City Expressway is just one of those roads where it's three lanes wide and you just kind of hammer doing 80 miles an hour the entire way. Um, goes from two lanes to three lanes. Uh, so now we're in the left lane. It's moved us over. We're doing about 64. And even though I have my speed set to 85, I think the, the speed limit on here is only 45 miles an hour. So the car is doing 20 miles over, now 25 miles an hour over. I probably will back it off. Oh, okay. So I set it to 65. It's getting over, which is nice. So it realizes that it shouldn't just continue to stay in the left lane. I am going to bump this up to 70. Um, there are usually officers that sit down here just to the right, so always to stay safe. You don't want to be the fastest group in the pack. You want to kind of be sticking there with everybody doing the same speed, which behind me, I've got a whole group of cars doing the same speed that I am. Um, so that was good, and now we're merging over to the right, so we do have to make a right exit here. So all of these moves have been great. I think that that move back there and the move before getting... Okay, now we're getting back into the left lane. <laughs> So we move to the right and then we move to the left. Uh, this actually should be the lane, I believe, that we're in. It's kind of a weird offshoot as there's a couple of exits right in a row here. Okay, now we're getting back into the right lane. So the car doesn't know which lane it wants to be in. Um, I think that this is the right one. We are getting off at the Cinnaminson and Camden exit up here. So I think that we actually might need to make another move over to the right, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, in regards to, you know, the maneuvers that it's making, I really like the fact that it's going to the left in the passing lane, passing a single car, and then getting back over when it realizes it's at its maximum speed. There's nothing that I hate more than somebody that's just sitting there in the left lane, clogging up and gumming up the works. Uh, so for me, I hate to be that person. Like I hate for my car to be sitting there because I'm using full self-driving. Usually I'll hit the turn signal to get myself over just because I don't want to be sitting there. So we've got a little bit of a tight interchange here. This is definitely slower than I would be going around this corner. There's nobody behind me, so I really don't mind. Now, as we're getting to more straight, it's starting to pick up the pace here. It always seems to go fairly slow on interchanges, which I can understand. I mean, this is an area where there's a lot going on, a lot of moving parts. Um, luckily, this interchange isn't super busy. We are coming up here, and we do need to make a merge. And then from here, we're kind of jumping off onto some back roads. There is actually a circle, I think, that I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to continue this video on until we get through the circle, and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, now we've got a merge here onto the left lane now this is a three lane highway so fortunately nobody is sitting there the car is going to throw the turn signal on and just move right over nicely it's going to sit right next to the truck and then speed off so <laughs> that was that was uh nice that was good i mean that was a nice natural move that was exactly what i would have done now we are gonna have to stay in the right lane to make a right We've only got about a mile to drive, and the car wants us in the middle, which I can understand. I think I've still got the speed set to about 70. Yeah, so we're at 75 as our max. I'll back that off down to 65 as we get into some of these uh, smaller roads. But this is a scenario now where I'm in the middle lane. It probably could have stayed in the right lane and gotten me up to where I need to make a right. Now, it does say full self-driving may be degraded. Uh, you know, I don't know what that leads to. I don't know if that leads to these further or these longer following distances. I don't know if it leads to the car driving a little bit slower. Uh, obviously, right now, there's really no uh, adverse or there's no conditions on the road that would make the drive any harder than it would otherwise. I think that I'd probably just have some dirty cameras here which would make sense. So we are going to make a right right here, I believe. Oop. All right, so it was going to make a right, but then the car behind me is coming up. So it stopped for a second. Now from here, we should be sitting in the right lane to make this right coming up. I will bring up the map a little bit closer. So we'll be making a, come on, we'll be making a right-hand turn up there. If I was the car right now, I would make the move to get up there, even though there are some cars coming up. I wonder if I hit the right hand turn signal, if it would make that move. But now we're going to have a line of cars probably sitting here on the right side. And I'm going to have to make a turn up there. So it'll be interesting to see how it makes that maneuver and tries to get over into a crowded lane. All right, here we go. 
we don't really have that many cars, so it should be a quick move over. I wonder if it's going to try to get through the intersection first and then try to make the move. So it puts the turn signal on, and just at the tail end of the intersection makes the move, which was good. That was nice and natural. Coming up here at the light, we'll be making a right-hand turn. It's going a little bit slow. You could feel it almost hesitating and hitting the brakes a little bit. So here we'll make a right. It's going to be kind of one of these things where we have a yield, but because this is green, there shouldn't be any cars coming on. So yeah, nice smooth yield. Nice smooth turn. That was nice. And gets us right over into the left lane, which is cool. I wonder if it actually noticed that there was a turning lane kind of there on the right. So when you turn, you turn into that lane and then merge to the left. Uh, but it was all covered in snow back there. So <laughs> I don't even think that it noticed that there was a lane there. Now we've got a little bit slower speeds back here. These are going to be 35 mile an hour speed limits just as we kind of go through these neighborhoods. It is going a little bit quick. What is it? My, my max is still set to 50. I'm going to bump that down to 45. I don't feel like catching a ticket here. Um, so in previous versions, the car has done a really good job at yielding for pedestrians. So, you know, this is an area where pedestrians could be crossing maybe on a busier weekday, like in the morning, if people are trying to get their kids to school and whatnot. And so I wonder how full self-driving would do if there was a person trying to cross. Like up here, we've got a good amount of crosswalks coming up here. So that would be something interesting to, to see. Um, despite all of the salt and all of the snow buildup on the road, it's doing a good job at understanding where the lines are, where it needs to drive. I, uh, I did a video a couple of days ago about the car driving when there was complete snow on the road. So on uh, when I was up in Canada, the snow had fallen and it had completely covered the road on the highway to where you couldn't see either of the lines. There was literally just the two tire marks from the car in front of me and the car did it. The car totally with full self driving kept me in the lane where it should have. It kind of swayed back and forth a little bit, but it did a really good job despite not being able to see the road at all. Uh, nice smooth stop there, nice smooth acceleration up um, but yeah, back, back to that drive. I mean, it was kind of crazy to see the car driving with no actual visual lines on the road. Uh, and, and honestly, it was more of just like a two minute drive for proof of concept to see if it worked. And it did. And then I took over because I wasn't going to let the car drive me while it was just completely dumping snow. Okay. So coming up here is the circle. This will kind of be our ending, mo our, our, our ending point. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> It wanted to put the right-hand turn signal on and get us into that right turn lane for that uh, for that neighborhood back there, which I've had happen. I had to just make these random right-hand turns, uh, but luckily it caught itself at the end and brought us right back over into lane. Okay, so now we're making our... Ooh, that's going to be a big manhole. <laughs> okay, so now we're making a right. There's nobody here, so it should yield pretty easily. Going a little bit slower. I mean, it's almost coming to a full stop here and really jerking through. That was kind of a rough yield there. I expected it to go nice and smooth through, but it was even hesitating as it went through the intersection, which is something I hate, man. My dad always told me when I was younger, hesitation kills, and that's so true. If you hesitate going through an intersection and someone's not looking, you're going to get clipped. Okay, so uh, pretty good drive. I would say, you know, it was definitely really great off the bat, kind of going on 76 to 676 to 95. And then once we got 95... Slower driving kind of killed it from there. Uh, and then I just think that with my car being dirty, the cameras being impeded, I mean, I think that my rear camera is super dirty just from the salt kick up from this drive alone. Uh, so with the cameras being dirty, with snow on the ground, definitely will add to full self driving being degraded as it says here on the, uh, on the screen. But overall, great highway driving and I can't wait to check out some more. So be sure to subscribe and like the video if you liked it because I definitely will be posting some more full self driving videos over the coming days and over the coming weeks as it just got 12.6 and I'm really interested to kind of put it through its paces and try it out through different maneuvers. Why don't we stay on here one more turn, one more left-hand turn here. This is going to be a left-hand turn with people coming straight towards us. These are always stuff that I enjoy to look at because it's kind of difficult with traffic coming straight towards you, with this hill especially. There should be no reason the car shouldn't just glide right through, and it did. Nice move. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video.